So I'd like to talk about Bloodhound's Fine Curved Sword in this video. One great thing about this is that you can get it very early in the game by defeating Bloodhound himself. So you can get this pretty much early in the game, then you'll be able to use this weapon not only through your first playthrough, but up to New Game Plus. Uh, a few things about... Uh, a few things stand about this weapon, notably that uh, attack rating is amazing for its weight, how early in the game you can get it. It has phenomenal scaling, yet you'll scale with very well throughout uh, your uh, first uh, playthrough. And very well throughout uh, New Game Plus, uh, like I said, upgrading this weapon to maximum can and will carry you up to New Game Plus slash uh, new game plus plus uh, slash uh, new game plus 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 you know what i mean up to new game plus four uh, just by itself secondly it has native bleed uh, build up on it which uh, most curved great sword don't have and one thing that's also great is that you can actually buff this weapon as well so not only you get the uh, bleeding but then you can uh, buff it with uh, blood grease for example to give it even more uh, bleeding, or you can buff it with something else like uh, fire in order to give uh, extra damage or lightning, etc, etc. Not only you get that bleed uh, up, but then buff it uh, even further. Not many weapons uh, can do that in this game, but uh, this one can. The weapon has a unique uh, property that it deals increased jump attack damage. Uh, so if you're planning uh, this uh, with a uh, single weapon, or if you are using dual wielding, you are going to get uh, increased jump attack when uh, when you are using uh, this, uh, making it perfect for a jump uh, attack style. What I found up to be absolute best uh, thing about this weapon is that you can actually maneuver very fast in and out uh, of combat if you time your attacks correctly, making bosses and adds harder to rate you. It's a game changer. bosses so far, Diesel versus uh, Crucible Knight, for example. Uh, I don't know, I didn't, uh, I, 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 it, it was just like, uh, he hit me like uh, once, once or, or twice, uh, with this. This is amazing, you know, this is amazing, you just get in and out, so fast, and also this, also this, you see, you see what I mean. Uh, so, here we go, like this, and like this. This, uh, so, uh, not, uh, not many, uh, this is a unique weapon. As you, as you can see, as you know, uh, sorry, as you know, uh, many items you can enchant in the game, you know what I mean? But this one you can't, uh, because it's a unique weapon, once again. So, uh, this attack is amazing. You just want to get inside, do some damage, and get out immediately, you, you know. If that makes any sense to you, you know what I mean. And uh, this followed by this, that's so powerful. And the uh, weapon itself uh, does uh, does a lot of uh, a lot of damage, you know. And uh, yeah, this uh, this uh, this great sword is uh, is really impressive. Uh, I don't know uh, I, I don't know uh, anything else to tell you except that uh, it will carry you a long way. Uh, up to, like I said, up to uh, New Game Plus uh, 3, New Game Plus uh, 4, or something like that. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's scaling, it's, it's scaling is phenomenal, weight is phenomenal. It also doesn't require much, it's uh, only 18 strength and uh, 17 uh, dexterity, you know what I mean? So that you can, you can use it at full potential. It's, it's a really great weapon, uh, I don't know anything else to say really, except that uh, uh, this, this move, see this move, it helped me with, uh, with so many bosses, uh, I don't know I died like uh, when I encounter bosses in my, in my uh, playthroughs, uh, uh, when I upload, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not dying at all or I'm dying only once due to stupid mistakes, you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, this is this is this is just uh, this is just amazing. And yeah, okay, so we can we can do this. For example, let me show you this. 
this and then again this so that's uh, that's just a game changer you don't need roll you don't need roll you don't need uh, you don't need to block uh, block your shield uh, and going just like that you can just uh, you can just play with uh, with uh, with a great sword uh, if that makes any sense it made my made my uh, play through much much easier so uh, this is one of those swords uh, you should uh, consider getting it right uh, the location uh, the location is over here uh, forlorn uh, hound uh, evergol uh, just the south of uh, agil uh, lake uh, south uh yeah uh, over here as you can see uh we are uh, we are over here it's uh, fort gate west uh then uh agil uh, lake south and then at the beginning of the game uh just before bridge of uh, sacrifice over here th there you will fight uh, there you will fight fight uh, blood, blood, uh, bloodhound himself uh. so yeah bloodhound uh, when it comes to bloodhound it's uh, I don't know. It's an easy boss, you know. It's an, you. You might have uh, some struggles at the beginning, uh, but uh, you will uh, you will kill him uh, easily at the end. And the best thing is that uh, if you if you get killed, uh, your souls will be your souls will be up here. You know, you want uh, you want uh, need uh, to go down to get your souls. So eventually, okay. For example, I cannot kill him today. I'm gonna go grab some. Uh, I'm gonna farm some. Uh, Souls uh, like over here in Linus Rise with a rolling ball. I'm gonna upgrade uh, some of my attributes, uh, armor, etc., etc. Buy something, and uh, then I'm gonna fight him. So uh, yeah, Bloodhound himself he has. Uh, uh, he he's uh, he has. Uh, if you remember from Dark Souls uh, 3, uh, he has uh, those uh, movements like dancer. You know what I mean. If you ever fought Dancer in Dark Souls 3, so uh, yeah, it's pretty much uh, like 70% uh, of uh, Bloodhound is uh, Dancer moves, you know what I mean. So yeah, uh, that being said, uh, good luck uh, with your uh, Bloodhound uh, fine curled sword, and uh, yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to point out. Uh, have a blessed day, and uh, cheers, cheers, cheers.